Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. Now, in today's video, we're going to have a quick discussion about some of the new stuff that has just popped up from the Dinosaur Protection Group. Recently, a short promotional video for the Dinosaur Rights Organization got posted to the DPG's Twitter page. Now, within this video, we get a lot of shots from not only the previous movie, Jurassic World, but also from 1997's darker sequel, The Lost World, Jurassic Park. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I absolutely love The Lost World. You might just hear me ramble on about it, so somewhere in this video. No promises. Now, the reason some of the footage from the second film is being used is more than likely due to the similarity between both John Hammond's gatherer team and Claire Deering's Dinosaur Protection Group's mission statements. We're presented with dialogue given to us by Claire in a video where she, Zaya Rodriguez, and Franklin Webb visit an elementary school classroom to educate the children about saving the dinosaurs. Instead of a documentation expedition where Sarah Harding and the others set out to photograph the animals and expose them to the public, the DPG's mission goal appears to be an amalgamation of both Hammond and Ludlow's efforts from the earlier film. While still being focused on dinosaur rights and conservation, Claire and the others obviously wish to round all of the dinosaurs up and ship them to a protected zone where they'll be safe from the inevitable volcanic eruption. We get to see the new characters interacting with kids and teaching them about various different species before Claire elaborates on the importance of preserving these creatures for future generations to witness and admire the same way we all did. Asking their viewers to remember the first time they saw a dinosaur helps bring their intentions home in a way that we as Jurassic Park fans, as well as the in-universe people who got to visit Jurassic World, can understand on a believable level. The public has been aware of the dino's existence ever since that fateful day when a rex tore through San Diego in 97, and after 10 years of visitors coming and leaving Isla Nublar, with a ton of awe-inspiring memories of the dinosaurs, it's easy for one to imagine the admiration many people may have towards these prehistoric animals. Animals. Now, at the end of this new video, we get a happy declaration from the DPG and various students shouting, save the dinosaurs, and a couple of really cool dino characters pop up alongside them as well. What looks to be a kid-friendly yellow rendition of the Spinosaurus, or possibly a Dimetrodon, is shown to the left of this image, and a big red guy is also held up by Franklin and Zaya to the right. I'm not so sure what this dinosaur is, but it's got ribbon-like material on its head and arms that seem to simulate either either feathers or protruding quills. Even though I know it's an artistic rendition of a specific creature, my mind instantly thinks of the Rancor that was featured in Return of the Jedi, which was essentially a dinosaur anyways, so that's really cool. Along with this new footage, we're given shots of the dinosaur petting zoo from Jurassic World, various apatosaurs, triceratops, and paras, as well as the baby stegosaurus from Lost World, and even the little compi that ended up attacking Kathy Bowman at the beginning of that film. I have no doubt in my mind that Fallen Kingdom will try to pay tribute to and homage the Lost world in both tone as well as a few visual callbacks. Hiring J.A. Bayona to pull off a darker and more thrilling sequel is a move that I'm sure was intended to suit this style exceedingly well, and with Fallen Kingdom adopting Lost World's dinosaur capture elements along with a more suspenseful atmosphere, I can say that I'm honestly pumped. That second movie is currently my favorite sequel. It's a film that I think has not only some of the best imagery and set pieces of the franchise, but also one that has some of the absolute greatest camera work that I've ever seen within a modern blockbuster. Check out the shot that features Eddie Carr's hurried attempt at getting Nick, Sarah, and Ian out of the falling RV. Spielberg's usage of his character's movement to guide the movement of the frame itself, as well as seamlessly progressing the same shot through the destroyed windshield of the vehicle before looking down to the other characters who are awaiting Eddie's rope, is really well choreographed and its cinematography is excellent. And Spielberg moves this shot starting with an elevated focus on the RV. Within a 48 second shot, we see Richard Schiff run from the trailers and towards his car, throw out equipment in a desperate search for rope and then make his way towards the giant tree stump to tie it off and create an anchor. All while this is happening, the camera's movement is determined by where Eddie Carr chooses to go next. And all of this happens before the shot is extended to the inside of the vehicle itself where Eddie throws his buddies the line. Spielberg on autopilot, my ass. Hearing the news that Bayona had researched heavily with the franchise's novels and films before directing the movie gives me hope that he will create scenes as equally impressive as this in the new film. This connection with not only Jurassic World, but also the other entries in the series, is something that I'm glad they're trying to build up and expand with the new movie. That being said, I want to know what all of you think about this new video footage in the comments down below. Do you think the DPG is going to rally a lot of support for the expedition they'll undergo in order to save the dinosaurs? Or do you think 
other characters with far more realistic and, dare I say, chaotic worldviews, end up convincing the public that saving the dinosaurs could lead to something far more unpredictable than what we believe. Also, what kind of dinosaur do you guys think this red guy is? I honestly have no idea. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. I'd love to know what you think. Now, before I go, I want to thank my game wardens, as well as my engine executives, including our newest member, Timon. I'd also like to thank my park workers and engine hunters as well. It's awesome to see you show so much support in pledging to the channel, and I seriously appreciate all of what all of you do to help build the channel into a bigger and better place every day. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing so that you can hear from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.